Hey from Jinga and GrowStrong.com and I'm back with another video. And we're following our bachizado series. On the last video we talked about what is a bachizado and how do you, you how do you get your, your cord, your first belt, and how do you, you proceed along. This video I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna give you an example of what we do in our group. Um, what are the testing requirements? Now in a bachizado, this is how we run our, uh, our bachizados. Um, it's a two-part process, a kind of three. Um, during the week, we do our checklist testing. Okay, so it'll be like on a Wednesday or a Thursday of that week, and they're required to show their forms, their acrobatics, their um, takedowns, or or whatever it happens to be for the first one. It's, it's pretty much basic martial arts, the the jinga, and I'm going to go over exactly the, the exact list of our first course. And that happens on Wednesday and Thursday, only one of those days. So there's just some people who will get on, have to work, but they only attend class on Wednesday or Thursday, so you have those options. So you only test one of those. And then at the, that Friday, uh, Bachezado is usually two, at least two days in it, and a lot of times it's five days of workshops and seminars. And it's people visiting and giving seminars, other masters. So in our group, uh, we've got we've got to the uh, to the two day system of about Friday and Saturday. So Friday night, there's the workshops, there's the, the hall does, and so, so it's pretty much seminars for the kids and the adults. Then Saturday morning, there's more seminars for kids and adults, capoeira, sometimes dance, sometimes samba, and, and other dance workshops. And there's a break, and then usually whatever the time you set, 2.30, 3 o'clock, the actual bachizado, the ceremony. And then, that's when you go up against one, a visiting master, a visiting instructor, uh, who comes in and qualifies you, who either drops you, tries to kick you, or, or um, you know, qualifies you. And it's usually done fun, as I said in the last video. <clears throat> but now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what are the actual testing requirements, and I'll, then I'll give you some examples. Now remember, if you want a free uh, Capoeira full course, uh, make sure you click the link in the description. Okay, all I ask is that you uh, fill out a small survey, a four question survey, and you got the, 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 the free home, home study course. It's very nice too. It's, got, it's a collection of some of my best, uh, best selling digital uh, training programs. And I just took the best videos out of those and I made a small home study course and I know that you're gonna love it. Okay, so make sure you click the link in the description. Now I'm gonna talk about uh, our actual test. Okay, so for your first chord, you have to learn how to show Bazi or your Cadera. It's the basis for the Jinga. Going on to that, you have to demonstrate what Jinga is. Correct hands, protecting the face with good solid base as you Jinga. Okay, good coordination. Uh, you also do have to be trained for, training for at least a month to get your first your first cord. And a lot of other groups don't. You got to train a year. You got to train longer. It just happens to be we have a bachillado every six months. We keep it uh, so we get a fresh influx of students all the time. Uh, other groups they just make we only get one a year, and so it doesn't matter. They have different stipulations. Okay, so you got to be training at least a month, show Bazi, show Jinga. Um, then you got to learn the three basic dodges. And for us, that esquiva or esquiva frontal, both sides, esquiva lateral, both sides, and quebrada, okay, on both sides, the side perpendicular dodge. Then from there, you have to learn some few basic kicks like a Meluji Frenchie, we call that Pasa Pe. Our group, you have to learn quichada, turn sideways, walk behind, and back uh, um, circle kick, circular kick. Armada, okay, which is a back spinning uh, kick, and then meluji compasso. This is the capoeira kick. If you look up, 20 second capoeira main knockout. That's that back spinning kick where they touch the floor and uh, spinning back heel. I think they call it a wheel kick in other martial arts, like karate or whatever. Um, then we have a, a, a simple combination that we do. You go, you do an awu, uh, land negachiba, and then hole. So very simple, putting a few fundamentals together. And from there, we also have a couple acrobatics like awu, which is your basic on both sides, your post, basic car, couple in a car wheel. Show macaco, both sides of the monkey flip, both sides. And I also have a free mini macaco mini course. Uh, you need to check that out. I'll put a link in the description to the video and that's straight on YouTube right away. Um, 
Then you have to learn awu sing mao, an awu with no hands. And we can teach a very easy way to, to learn it at first until you learn how to get over the top. Now, it's okay to do a butterfly kick. Um, that's how we teach it first. It's very easy and very accessible to people of any, any shape, you know, any, any conditioning form. So, you have the three dodges or three kicks. We have uh, some basic straight kicks. We also have um, Hasteta, which is our basic leg sweep. Okay. And you have to show Kedha Jihin, which is that side, that side thing. Little elbow stall, like the, like the yoga grandmas do. <laughs> um, from there, it's pretty much, uh, we have to go to the music. So that's pretty much the physical part. The music, you have to know um, five courses. Sing, 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 na, 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 the music. We make sure that you you, you have to perform that. Um, two solos could be sing, 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 now, 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 but the first part of the song, the, pers the, the person that leads it, okay? So, and then you have to have 75% attendance. That means we grade you on it twice per week, but we hope that you train more than that. But you have to have 75% attendance uh, on, a, on, on a two per week scale. Okay, so if you're training for a month, that means, you know, you need to make See, two, four, six, eight classes. So 75% of eight classes is probably 80, uh, I don't know, um, six of those classes, I'd probably imagine. And from there, you have to learn how to play the, the pandeiro. And I also have a tutorial for the pandeiro, so check that out, check that link. Um, and learn how to clap correctly and clap and sing the courses. And the very last thing that we make you do is have a one minute presentation. You could have notes, you have to speak in front of everybody and say what capoeira is. So what is capoeira? Do a basic search on Google and try to come up with something interesting. Um, so that way you, you know how to explain what you do and over time with each belt, each chord that you go up, you learn, you're, doing a, you're doing a different research, a different presentation on a different aspect of, of capoeira. Like uh, the significance of the slave trade, in Capoeira, the significance of music in Capoeira, Hejonal versus you know, uh, Angola, uh, also Hoda etiquette, and so on and so forth. So it's very enriching, especially for us as non-Brazilians, to do the research and know that at, at least at a basic level. Um, but you know, you do learn a lot. So anyway, that's our test. That's the way we do our test. And other groups do, other, do it other ways but it's pretty much a standard thing, especially for non-Brazilians, that you have to be submerged with the culture. You have to learn the music, you have to learn the language, you have to learn the instruments, you have to know a little bit of the history. And that's why Capoeira is so rich, and that's what I enjoy out of it. So, if you haven't found a, a location near you and you haven't started training Capoeira yet, uh, please make an effort to do that. Remember, this is my videos and my pro training programs are no substitution for a real Capoeira group. I only hope to help those who, who don't have access to a group and uh, people just starting and want some more, uh, some supplementary study. So I hope that I've been a service to you. Uh, once again, uh, check out those links in the description for the free course, for the free Makaku course, for the free um, other videos uh, on the moves. Okay, sound good guys? All right, talk to you soon. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Jinga and grow strong.